Step, step, step. Oh, hey there. You should probably hit that. Oh, and you should definitely ring-a-ding that. Yes, this is the CEO of Fazbear Entertainment, and I'm here to tell you we have opened up another successful chain over at the Five Nights at Candy's channel. It'll be ran by one of my good friends. You should go check it out. I'm sure there's going to be many adventures there for you to see. Thank you, and please sign the life insurance policy before you walk out. We don't want anyone getting hurt now, do we? Yeah, yeah, I talked to him. Did it change much, or...? Do any of my talks with Brian change anything he does? I get that, but... Dude, I look, threw look, a two million dollar check in a portal and he almost went after it like it was real money. I... I get that, it's just... I'm not sure what you expected going there, man. I expected him to have his senses about him. Seems like everyone's losing their mind except me. I came here well, with the hope of telling him beforehand that I'm about to be replaced, a new CFO's coming in, and that if it doesn't straighten up, then boom, bada bing, that this place is going to be shut down and Brian will be back. Well, oh God, he's coming towards me now and he has that look in his eye of sadness. Oh, I gotta go, Davis. I'll talk to you just, soon. Just, just talk to him. He's I, gonna be... Hey. Hey. It's gonna be okay, Brian. No matter what happens. Oh, Brian. It's, no, Brian, it's... Brian! What? You can't just keep beating your head on the horn. Come on, get out of that thing. Talk to me. Now... I assume there's a reason you've driven all the way here to talk to me, your friend. What's up? What you need, buddy? How am I supposed to keep Freddy Land alive and... How do, we, how do I keep it up? I, I can't! I but, physically can't anymore! I think it too big for one person they're in. That's why I tried to come here. And to be fair, um, when I supported your um, upfront earnings, in theory, you're making money. In result with everything happening. With no guests, we're closed. Yeah, that's a big chunk of your income. But the fact that you guys Almost are doing... Almost been one year since we closed, John. Almost <laughs> went one year. The bottom line is, is that I know some of your animatronics are going missing. I know they don't care about machinery going missing. I know you do. But I know you're... My friends. I know. But you've been covering up with delivery cells that your animatronics have been making. I've been putting them all on patrol so they can go make extra money. And we can keep the tips from that. So your place, in theory, has been turning a tiny bit of profit. With this, that, and... That bush just exploded. Everything in between. Brian, the place is fine. It's just you've been hit harder than anyone else. You deal with so many problems. I don't know what's going on, and Molten won't tell me, because he says it'll... He says that I'll endanger myself. But... Uh... <laughs> I know you're dealing with something. An Afton-level thing. And I respect that you have had too much to deal with. Maybe don't worry about it if the park goes down. Do you really need it? But this was the dream after the restaurant. Everything was supposed to be whoa, whoa, end goal whoa. here. Just because it, just because it wasn't the dream that you thought it would be doesn't mean that you're not going to have that good ending. Look at Davis. That man was tortured by Molten. And still, he gets up every day and tries to be better. Michael... His dad literally killed most of his family and tortured him. And he still gets up every day happy to know that he's doing the best he can. It's not about if you have this park or whether you have the support of the franchise. It's about if you're happy about it. Are you happy? I haven't been happy. Then you don't need Freddy Land to be happy. So why am I still here? Because you care about your animatronics. You care about being successful. You care about what other people think of you. And I know you want this... 
That's the truth. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, Why did you do this? I punched it and it exploded. It like combusted. No, oh, this is what makes stuff explode. What is that? That's a gun. Oh, I gave it. Why do you oh, have a not. sonic rifle? Don't point cars. that damn thing at me. A sonic rifle. Why would he need a sonic rifle? Why? So I can destroy vehicles like this. Oh, you missed. Maybe you should have done that last time. Oh. I don't know. There we go. It evaporated. Yep, that's what happened to David Davis's car. That's what happened to his car. Why does he need the gun? Because our enemies may or may not like other things. You can say his name. It's Glitch Trap. Well, Glitch Trap may not like some things. <gasps> Molten, why do you have that with you? What do you think? I talked to Lefty. Interesting. What's in this place that makes them want you? Is it the, uh, I don't know. The th oh, this thing. The portal you timer. Wanna see, you want to see a trick? The absolute... Did he die? No, he's right up behind you. What? Sigh. He just went in a different timeline. Oh, there he goes again. Another timeline. Hmm. Timeline's an interesting thing. So I'm guessing... It doesn't matter. They want that for some reason. <laughs> well, if they get their hands on get that. You too involved. Yeah, I, I get that. Listen, while I'd love to help you, remember, this may have been your dream, but look at what you've done over there. Those glam rocks seem to be your dream right now. Yeah. The, whatever you have planned, they're going to come over here and try to steal it. Make sure when the CFO and everyone else comes to visit you, you don't let them see your project. And I mean, don't do it the whole like, haha, don't come over here to the blown up place to see what I'm working on. Have Molten hide them away and just don't talk about it. Okay. And with Freddy Land? Pfft, dude. I, I, I get that you love it, but man, it's going to be worth quite a bit if you sell it. And trust me, the company's going to go down under once they replace me anyway. So um, fuck it. Do what you want, man. Build that mall. Do what you want, man. Do what makes you Brian happy. You're literally one of the only friends I have left. <laughs> and I want you to be happy. <laughs> Haven't checked on Michael, have you? Shut it. Am I wrong, boss? Uh, That's true. You haven't checked up on Michael, have you? Michael is just fine. Besides... Corporate's been taking your time, hasn't it? And we both know oh, why that it. is. <laughs> Cleaning up after every other mistake. I'm not getting into it. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. It's okay, John. You need to be quiet about the M A L L. No one else knows about it. Oh, not even him? <laughs> he definitely no. does. Well, I think I figured something out today. He he Let's write go. He's been writing out expenses for the <laughs> And it's been in my name to you. <laughs> okay, but you have to fair. promise me not to say anything else. Oh, well, swear on it. Yeah. Buddy, it, it, swear yeah. on it. Pinky promise. Shut up. Buddy, <laughs> of course I'm not going to tell anyone. Swear on it. I that swear. was a joke. I swear, Brian, that I won't tell anyone about it. Okay. Uh, you know, coming back and seeing Brian does remind me of our childhood. <laughs> oh, come on. Have a lean spot. Even you've mellowed out ever since you got into contact with Brian. Well, I haven't killed anyone. You have no need to. Are you going to be driving? Yeah. <sighs> What's wrong, boss? The fact that you... Which eye are you seeing out of? Do you want to ask that question? For safety reasons, I don't even want to ask why you're allowed to drive. <clears throat> After you, then. Huh? It's a left. You're... 
You look like you're staring into my lap. What are you doing? Oh, I am. I do appreciate you coming all this way, but I'm sure you know he doesn't want to see you. Oh, he most certainly doesn't. You'll be really surprised to see I have a few upgrades. So, I think I'll let you do the talking. <sighs> well, he is my friend. <laughs> of course he is. Now, I'll just take my little thing, and wait, I will wait, see wait, you later. Wait, wait. What? I know you've been keeping an eye on Brian, and by God, I don't know what connection you've built with him, but they're going to come with bulldozers. Oh, I know. I ordered them. <sighs> He's going to be hurt. He will. There's nothing else to do. You see that place, give it a week. People are gonna die under that. Brian will probably be crushed if... I don't do something. Huh? I think Brian's health is actually the thing I'm concerned about. He's, un he's being unpredictable, and when you're unpredictable, you make bad decisions. I nearly almost killed Very a man bad. when I was in that state. There's no telling what he's gonna do. He's seen enough death. <laughs> that he has. Now, I'm gonna take this. Fair enough. Hmm. Oh, God. What am I gonna tell Davis? They're gonna come after him. That, I know. It's not even anything with the brand of FNAF. It's, they're gonna do it anyway because they're, they know they can beat him in a lawsuit. And then I gotta go talk to Michael. John? Hey, well, if it isn't hey. my best friend. Uh, it's pretty much, uh, grand opening tomorrow. I just told him to go to sleep. Oh, are they behaving more? That's good. For the most part. Uh, well, death can really do something to you. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, you need something, man? Because, like, I'm about to head home. No. I feel like every time we talk, it's just about business. Luckily, that won't be in my life soon. Well, it's your job's been uh, job's been replaced. Okay, what about it? New CFO, uh, probably going to look into my actions, and as soon as they figure out that I knew about your little thing, and I've been in... Well, basically, putting money into Brian, <clears throat> company money, because someone signed my name onto it. I, uh, they're gonna come try to sue you. They'll try. They can't succeed. This place is a completely independent company. Even then, I use my own funds to fund this whole thing. My bank account is running dry slowly. Yeah, a couple hundred grand, but still. And they will know that. They can outlast you in a court battle. Oh, they probably will. Which is why the grand opening is happening soon. You need some help? Cash flow. I mean, I could ask you that. You know, you're going to lose your job soon, I think. Oh, with every dirty secret in that company, it'll drop down to pennies once Roy puts out the slander piece. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> ten steps ahead, buddy. Ten steps ahead. Well, screw it. You want to go to a bar or something? <sighs> Last time I went to a I bar, know. I nearly lost my mind. I know. I know. Not that one. Fourth wall's been kind of quiet. Take me back. You want to go to the... I thought you said you hated that place. Hate the place, but I haven't went, and something's telling me that... I don't think he's been getting much business recently. You want to see if that thing's still up? I want to see if his bull does to the ground. Come on. To be fair, it's not like we have the city around. It's We're pretty far away, man. <sighs> what else you doing? Well, dating going cat. home, Going home to your loved one, cat? Uh, when you could be I going mean, drinking not, with me? Your green-haired, jester-looking fellow? We're not like... We're not even in the... <sighs> It's Thanks, an Jim. hour, two, drive, three, hour, four hours. Yeah, well, yeah. So what you been doing? 
I've been thinking about driving off a cliff, so... Wait a minute. But I'm in the car.